While the Persian Gulf's gas-rich Abu Dhabi made peace with Israel last week, Gazans in Palestine have been bombed every day for the last 10 days. West Asia woke up to the announcement of a controversial peace agreement between the UAE and Israel a week ago as the residents of the Gaza Strip, which is the only enclave not under Israeli occupation, woke up to another day with bombs coming from Israel. The announcement of an agreement to normalize relations between the UAE and the Israeli occupation regime was not surprising, but was rude in terms of form and timing. Everyone who follows news of normalization in recent years notices it is no secret the Persian Gulf Arab states, especially the Emirates, is persistent and stubborn to break old taboos, which Arabs believed in for decades in their relationship to the Palestinian cause. UAE rulers have made efforts to market and integrate the Israeli occupation regime in the region, even at the expense of the security of its region and the inalienable rights of the Palestinian people, with flimsy pretexts such as confronting the central enemy of the Arabs, Iran. Although the UAE maintains strong and rooted relations with Iran, especially at the economic level, which it cannot afford to lose. The strange thing about this agreement is that the UAE rulers justify their heinous act of betrayal by claiming that this agreement was made in exchange for the occupation state's postponement of annexing lands in the West Bank for an indefinite period. This is exactly what Benjamin Netanyahu, the prime minister of the occupation regime, denied in his press conference last week and affirmed the annexation was not dismissed but was temporarily suspended. Normalization with the enemy is not merely a political endeavor. It is rather a denial of all national and humanitarian obligations towards the fairest issue in modern history, the Palestinian cause. The UAE has simply betrayed Palestine. Welcome to the Mideast stream. I'm Marwa Osman.